holiday season is upon us. First Thanksgiving and with Christmas just a few weeks later, this can be a stressful time of year, especially with visiting or hosting your family. Many people would rather beat themselves with a rock than spend 24 to 72 mind-numbing hours with their family. Our guest today is a family psychologist here to tell us how to survive the holiday season with our families. Please welcome Dr. Ben Thomas to the show. From your mother-in-law being too involved to your Aunt Mabel bringing up politics to your cousin Bobby making weird comments, how do we navigate our families this time of year? Well, first remember that you probably won't be seeing these people again until this time next year. And as much as you'd like to throw somebody through a plate glass window, the uncomfortableness of the dinner will only be lasting one meal. Secondly, Start gathering with people that you care for. It could be a sibling, a cousin, a family friend. Start forming groups so that everyone is gathering with people that they actually like. Lastly, and most importantly, start stocking up on your stash of alcohol out in the garage so that you have a place to escape. Now let's say someone's tried each and every one of those tips. It's just not working and they've got to get the hell out of there before they start throwing dishes. What should they do? Well, I've always found that the excuse of running to the store is a good way to get out of the house even though the store is closed for Thanksgiving. It doesn't really matter. Leave for a half hour, come back with a bag of ice. No questions asked. After the break, we'll answer some audience questions with Dr. Thomas. We'll be right back. For tickets to The Andrew Ball Show, call 555-BALL and be a part of our live studio audience. So we're talking about surviving the holidays with our families. You had a question for Dr. Thomas. Yes, we host Thanksgiving every year and my mother-in-law is always doubting me and asking questions. Is the turkey big enough? Are there enough rolls? Is this how you decided to decorate the table? How should I handle her? I'd say start asking questions back. Would you like to crawl into the roaster and weigh the turkey? Is that what you decided to wear today? Why is your head so big? See if she likes the interrogation. Our next question comes to us over the phone from Cheryl in Parkland Heights. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Andrew. I wanted to ask Dr. Thomas, there are certain members of my family I really don't like, but I don't really have a choice, so they're always at Thanksgiving. How should I act in situations like that? I think make it as uncomfortable as possible. Don't be flat out mean or rude, but also just don't talk to them. Create that awkward tension that you will both feel the entirety of the time that they are there. And if you do have to talk to them, make it indirect and don't look at them, just a comment in the wind. After a while, it might make them uncomfortable enough that they won't want to come back anymore. A big thank you to Dr. Thomas for being with us today to provide some great insight and advice on handling our families this holiday season. Buckle up because it's going to be terrible. Thank you all for being here today. Happy Thanksgiving. Guests of the show fly Trans-American Airlines, the official airline of The Andrew Ball Show. Fly Trans-American to over 220 destinations worldwide. Trans-American Airlines, that feeling in the air.